Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just, just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Beachview neighborhood in Pittsburgh, PA, and Sorgatron Media Studios is a Wrestling Mayhem show, the 582nd edition here, and uh, we have a wonderful crew. I am at Sorgatron on the Twitters, um, and also we we have a we have a whole bunch of people here. First of all, on the line from uh, Mead, I'm sorry, Monroeville, PA, not Meadville. That's somewhere else. That's where other things happen. That's that's where other things happen. The Riz is with us. Riz plays Hi, games. Sork. Hey, Riz. Riz plays games. I'm going to be starting playing games shortly. You don't know what I'm going to be playing. Maybe a little bit of one-on-one uh, Overwatch. I'm not sure. They did come out with new skins. That's true. Um, That's true. We And uh, for the gold audience, we did talk a lot about video games. Absolutely. So, so. Uh, enjoy that fun. Uh, Sorg, I hate you now. Why? Why? You have, you have an Xbox One. Oh, because I have an Xbox uh, One. Yeah, so uh, uh, Swergatron on the Xbox if you want to follow are, me on there. We are no longer friends. <laughs> Apparently not. Mm. Wait, I've had an Xbox 360 all before this. Also <laughs> with us from... Uh, I did too. Pooh, Kipsy, New York. It is Mad Mike. Sorg, you and I can still be friends. I have an Xbox One. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> Make sure we are. I don't know. I, I, I had I had a I had a song in my head and I was dancing to it. If you missed it before, I was playing Invisible Drums. It was pretty fantastic. Awesome. And also with us, first of all, Chad the Shad is with us on the couch. Sir, back with us after a week. Yes. We we we, we redecorated since you were here last. Uh, yes, you've added more <laughs> squares to the actually, walls. Actually, we re- redecorated <laughs> yes, there's more squares. I, actually you've added squares to the walls. It was all bare last time I was here. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, like, and I have I, I too have a over PS4. The so you're an enemy of mine, sort of. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're anti squares? No, I have a PS4. You're an enemy. Oh, 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 I see. I see. You're you're in the risk. Spear, camp. sir. But spear. Also, many, many spears. Spear. Spears also, on to you. <laughs> I'm trying to try. Also <laughs> with us is Riz. <laughs> also with us is pro wrestler katie arquette joining us we're going to be talking with her on the indie mayhem show soon which is joining us on the show thank you for joining us thank you for having me it's wrestling locally of course with the international wrestling cartel and a bunch of other places yes so uh, i'm going to be joining the, the talk the wrestling talk for this week um you can uh, join the conversation you can join us here live every tuesday night about 10 p.m eastern time we might talk about video games for about a half an hour before the wrestling mm-hmm. but that's pretty much par for the course on this show <laughs> um and it's also recording gold content for you guys on patreon but you can uh, hit us up at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com uh, or follow the facebook page for wrestling mayhem show to get those uh, notifications become part of the chat room just like our good friends bobby of jtown's hanging out in there uh brandon is in there uh, Traegar, Wheels, uh, and uh, Chris LaRusso is hanging out playing his Friday the 13th game and a bunch of other people popping in as they do throughout the evening. Uh, you can also drop us a line. Good times. Good times. At WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 4125. Wait, that's my phone number. 412. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. We swear yeah, we close enough. Podcasted before, guys. I swear I've done this before. This intro a million times. And you also uh, please subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and of course video versions on the YouTube and the uh, Facebook page. And also a big shout out to our Patreon supporters helping to now that we've moved into a studio, literally keep the lights on around here. And of course a big part, big reason why we've made uh, some of the big moves like we have here from the basement and right on the main street here in the neighborhood with the tea going by and thousands of people passing us every day. That is a for real thing that happens, guys. Uh, but thank you to our supporters. Uh, Bo Diggity! Woo! <laughs> 
as well as Ed Burke, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment, Tragar of BreakingTrayFabe.wordpress.com. Thank you for the number three spot on the uh, uh, Tragar or Trayfabe 100. Um, also, Bobby F. J. Town, uh, Alex Carr is with Power to the Smarks on the Twitter, as well as these are at the $5 level, uh, Tina Keys, Christopher Bishop, and Brandon out there uh thank you guys so much for supporting the show you guys can too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show you get some goodies you get some extra content at certain levels as well as uh, uh you know if, if you're not supporting us there please just share the show rate us on itunes leave a review however that helps the show grow um as as we uh get going here so uh with that let's get into some wrestling talk and i know <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Some people were heartbroken this week, as uh, all read everything. Uh, Eva Marie has been officially let go from the WWE. Riz, Riz, it's I know you're the most heartbroken. It's a real shame she's gone. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> my heart hurts and is heavy. I can't. I can't. Can't. You, can't, you can't do it. Can't. You can't do it. Well, here's I my can't, thing. I can't. I can't. Tears, t- the tears aren't coming in. The t- tears aren't coming anymore. I didn't realize she wasn't already gone. Or am I just confusing? Like, her, like, like <laughs> yeah, pa- same here. Same here. I, it, thought, I thought she was gone like a month ago. Is it? I, am I confusing her with Paige's situation? Also, is Paige officially employed still? No, Paige is still officially employed. This is so weird. Uh, I think they're literally just writing out the rest of Eva's contract. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that's that, that's what I'm assuming. But. Okay, but but so 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 like, yeah, again, surprised at this because I think the last we heard, did she have two violations? I think around that return she was doing on SmackDown a little bit ago. What well, last yeah. year at this point, right? Yeah, it was yep. last year. It was last year. So, which actually was kind of, I think some of us were kind of wanted to see where they would go with it. Um, not to mention NXT, the fantastic line at nxt she did um but uh uh <laughs> mike are you gonna are you gonna miss even marie um you know i i sorg i've prepared a clip oh no oh, no. no i've prepared a clip um we can't, we can't play that no sorg i've prepared a clip uh it's all of even marie's greatest matches and um hold on i, I put it on my ipad and uh here we go it's just for, for, for that's a picture people. of me. They're, they're, that's, for the audio people, <laughs> that's, that's me. I don't know. That's me in the wall. I don't know. Guys, it's a joke. It's a joke. There, there, there's no. There's no highlight. Oh, oh. Ha, that was a good one. It, I liked thank it. You. Ha, ha. Thank you. It, it's it's like buying that Johnny Curtis uh, three disc pack. There, there's nothing going on. on it. <laughs> well, the Johnny Curtis or the or you mean Braden Walker? No, the, Braden Walker. Braden yeah. Walker. Uh, all right. R.I.P. Braden Walker. I confuse Walker. my Wildcats and my Johnny Curtises. I confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's more like they're they're waiting for the mo- when the movie is out before you, they release Paige, we're assuming. Yeah, that, that is really getting awkward. I still don't think that movie's ever getting made. You think they just, they just, I mean. I don't think that's that, ever There are made. more expensive po- projects in Hollywood that just get canned. Right. So, right. I mean, it seems like it's more trouble than it's worth at this point. And I mean, honestly, there is a more interesting movie going on right now. <laughs> Let's be really honest about it. And I think we're, I, and I've been, we're not talking about it too much here on the show, but, it, but there's, um, and I don't even know the details, but there's, uh, 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 I guess, domestic violence uh allegations or something like that around around uh page so there's there's a whole lot of not good around there's there's right a lot now. happening there so so maybe that becomes a lifetime movie of the week later down the line and that's where that that kind of fits <laughs> uh more than anything <laughs> um uh, alex was actually there when they filmed the page versus aj lee uh a match for the for the movie the one where the rock came out and, and called cm punk and everything um mm-hmm. so i mean at least we got that moment out of it Jeez. But oh yeah, that, that's that's really what I want. A part timer calling a UFC guy. That's that's oh that's great. Oh, that's you're great. <laughs> um, Tina is pointing out that there are no charges filed. So, and but still, there's like a lot of weirdness going around on around that, despite um, um that situation. 
Uh, how do we get from even Marie to that? No, they're very relatable. Um, I think. Did bad. you also hear um, <laughs> the, the other bad. unfortunate news? Hot takes on the couch. Hot, hot takes happening. Yes. Hot Sork. takes. Sork, there's also some more unfortunate news. What, what's going on? Ho Ho Loon is gone. No. So, no, but it, it's for it's for kind of a sad reason. I, I was going to say they, they did the, they did an interview with him, so he, he gave a reason. Yeah. I didn't I didn't get a chance to read it. What what's going on? Um, he's going home to try to take care of his mom. Oh, okay. And apparently, his mom's very sick, so it's very unfortunate. All right. Well, I mean, he wasn't he wasn't that good. Hey, hey, you stop <laughs> that right now. I'm just, I'm just I'm saying. Oh, man. He's, the only, he's the only guy that was under contract in 205 Live not to be on 205 Live in the last four months. Oh, no, he's, uh, he popped up here and there. No, no, no. He's popped up. He, he's, he's basically. Two months. He's basically been practically enhancement talent, which, he's, you know. He's been on NXT. <laughs> and he was like that first, like, was he from Hong Kong? China officially? Yeah. 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 Yes, the both? <laughs> no, Hong Kong, China. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, no, no yeah, I, th- Kong, I think China. we're still separating those when we when we when we mention them that way. Um, I think okay. I think he was um, he was billed from China. Mm-hmm. And, and Bobby that. does point out, and this is true too. He has been on NXT a good bit. Um, so yeah, but everybody else has been on the main roster for ever since. Not He's not ever. Uh, Sean Maluda has been in NXT. <laughs> he has not been on 205 Live. NXT needs some people too, Riz. Yeah, spread the love around. Mm. Some of those guys fit really good in NXT, so it really does kind of make sense. And not everybody. I mean, again, we do only have an hour program with 205 Live. Not everybody's going to be in there. Yeah, um, 205 Live basically has a roster of like, what, 10, 12 people, if that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think he'll be. I think he'll be back once his family life situation is squared away. Too. Yeah, yeah, and I think he he was he's he was being. Um, kind of celebrated as the first Chinese signee that they had. Is that right? No. Yeah. Uh, that no, was... no. Seriously, I thought they said that he started basically his own wrestling school. Yeah, like he was a really, really big one. So, <laughs> sorry. I'm, but I'm, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm in the chat room. There's a debate going on on whether um, uh, uh, Ellsworth, Ellsworth uh, 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 his suspension had ended for his return tonight. <laughs> Which you're yeah. getting all the good news this week, aren't you? Kate? Don't get me started on James Ellsworth. <laughs> we were talking about Eva Marie, and now we're talking about James Ellsworth. No, hey, you know what? <laughs> James Ellsworth, both James bad. Ellsworth, <laughs> James Ellsworth had a great arc that ended nine months ago. Yes. I can agree with that. That's true. I can agree with that, and now he needs to <laughs> go and not come back. Ever. I, I, I still want Big Cass to show up on SmackDown, just kick his head off. Yes! Oh, can that please happen? That would be such an awesome angle. Show up, say, stay away from my girl, kick his head off, and... Yes, and then they get back together. This is what I was saying earlier. Mm-hmm. Carmella <laughs> needs to be with Big Cass. Well, Big Cass needs Either to apologize that. to Enzo. They need to make up, and then they need to invade on SmackDown and get her back. And Either that, or during, like, a shakeup, we send Carmella to Raw with the, <gasps> women, with the women's money in the bank briefcase. And when Bailey finally beats like Alexa Bliss or Sasha or something like that, you can have Carmella cash in on Bailey. I like that idea. That needs to happen. That's a really good idea. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't take much to to fix the women's division. I, I'm raw. <laughs> but still, much. in the meantime, we've had like Ellsworth is still like a stable in like one of the bigger moments in i'd say he's more like a paperclip a paper (laughs) i'd say he's more like a paperclip wow okay (laughs) i i do have to point out that or a post-it the chat room has some comments on this yes they do i'm trying to catch up with that they got a lot to say about this comments that kelvin is to katie what ellsworth is to carmella (gasps) oh that's harsh (laughs) i have no comment (laughs) and Dave Podner actually comments in that uh, Carmella and Cass are both heels now, so it would be great, and I completely agree with him. I would love to see oh, that. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a good fit for that. Absolutely. And especially, you could have Carmella kind of fill in Enzo's role and be the one to introduce Big Cass. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
Not quite as good, but acceptable. I think it could be better. Carmella's really grown into her own a lot since the days of her being a hairdresser in Queens. Uh, I, I like Big Cass. Those hairdresser bits were awesome. They were. They were. <laughs> when, they, when they accidentally um, um, made the dog go bald yeah. with the hair remover. I mean... Yeah. Come on, and we, and we, those are solid sets. And those were the days where, like, they were going and shooting promos for NXT, definitely with an iPhone. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, absolutely. Right. Yeah. that's amazing. Somebody else commented on, on in response to our tweet about Ellsworth <laughs> being back. Greg DeMarco, I imagine we'll get the explanation on talking smack. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we might get the explanation on smacking talk. That yeah, was also yeah. that was also canceled. Oh. Talk, smacking talk was canceled smacking talk was canceled like Damn it. two weeks right. ago you know what we need a uh a, a smoking tack on vine no WWE I'm vine? Sorry. Is vine still no. a thing? <laughs> they don't have any interest in, the, in wb or wb has any, any interest in vine, it is, on the vine. isn't it weird that you can log into tout and use it apparently but vine is just a complete non-existent <laughs> thing yeah. out of all the things um so speaking of which you know because as, as we know a lot of times the better things tend to happen on the youtube channel um have you guys seen the titus worldwide press conferences <laughs> i just yes, saw part yes, of yes, one yes 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 dana brooke is bay <laughs> she even like i was joking last night that she should do the titus uh, world wait 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 wait, wait, wait. Roll, roll, it. Roll, roll back roll back I, I, first first because I, I didn't know this was happening i was looking for the thing with dana brooke okay. and i actually didn't get to the dana brooke moment but uh and i was actually showing kitty this earlier at least the beginning of it <clears throat> where apparently it's titus and it's um 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 apollo and Tazawa, and they're sitting at a table, and there's a room, and they're holding a press conference, and it's the one guy, the the, the, yep, the it's one the Mike room, Mike from, like asking questions. Uh, Tazawa is like answering in Japanese about what happened to his shoulder. I'm pretty sure it's about Dragon's Dragon Ball Z Magic Beans, um, but uh, and, you, stole, you stole that from my live tweet. <laughs> that's well, give that, credit. Give okay. credit, Sork. I'll be fair. I see things on the internet and I have no idea where they come from it, later when I remember them. So thank you That's for why correcting I got my memory box. Thank you for correcting my memory hashtag. box. It just it just it just rolls by rolls by on my Twitter feed and and I, I have to catch up. Um, but but but, the but then what happened with Dana Brooke? Oh, uh, Dana Brooke came in and she said she was excited to to be joining Titus Worldwide and they're like, whoa, 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 hey, hey, you, you haven't joined yet. And and I'm like, just just let her in, Titus. <clears throat> just let her in. Like Apollo Apollo's not gonna give you a championship. Dana's got a better shot at that. <laughs> what has Apollo wow. done? Has Apollo like been officially injured since he fought um, Apollo Braun hasn't Strowman? had a match. Yeah, Apollo hasn't had a match since Braun Strowman. <laughs> After Braun Strowman like kicked him like ten feet in the air, he, he's afraid of heights <laughs> and he can't wrestle anymore, apparently. Didn't he win that match too? Um, no, I don't think no. so. No, no, I don't think so. Oh no, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of uh, Kalisto who has been- yeah, Kalisto Kalisto won the the dumpster match. <clears throat> he did. Which, yeah. by the way, he did. Yeah, Kalisto won that dumpster match with Braun. Did. So weird, and that's why he's Which, still by on the way, race. jumped in the dumpster, the dumpster like, match cool. between uh, between <laughs> Cena and Corbin. Cena and Corbin. <laughs> Because that's all they've been saying about I'm, dumpster, um, like dumpster fires and all that stuff. I'm actually waiting for Titus O'Neil to just take 205 Live and it'd be Titus O'Neil <laughs> presents 205 Live. Yes. <laughs> he did that one week, though, and didn't he? Just, he's just going like, to just gets all of them under contract. There was something where he was for, like running the show one week for some reason. And he pretty much did that. I, I think it'd be a nice, interesting angle. He just controls the, and then he then he slowly gets you know worse and treats them bad, and then someone has to come in and clean up. Oh, okay, there you go. We do have qualification. Uh, Matt Carlin's did see Apollo fight uh, Bray at the Erie House Show. So house, show, house shows don't count. House shows don't count. <laughs> I don't they do know. Uh, AJ don't count Styles will do. tell you house shows count. <laughs> <laughs> he also lost the championship too. 
But well, yeah, but not at a house show. But and then won it. <laughs> I always catch Riz when he's drinking his tea. Like <laughs> this, this timing's not working out for us. You, no, Riz, yeah, is, oh, Riz is geez. just buying into the um, the Natty and Becky gimmick. Mm. Just drinking the tea. Turner's tastes really good. <laughs> no, they're you not a sponsor. sponsor. What are you doing? Sponsor what are you doing? Us, Jeez. Sponsor us. Jeez. Speaking, speaking, oh, of, sponsors, speaking of sponsors. Speaking of sponsors, and we'll get back to the chat room in a moment. I want to give a shout out to her. What? Do you know what goes good with Turner's tea? What goes good with Turner's tea? Stop mentioning that. They're not <laughs> paying for ad campaigning. But you know who is? What what goes great with, with tea of a There's... generic brand name? IndieWrestling.us, sword. Indie, that's not the ad I was going to do, but it is now. Yeah, IndieWrestling.us, where you can see Katie Arcat's entire IWC career. That's me. <laughs> including your that's, debut that's match. Yes. That is reason enough. Including your, your challenge of Lufisto mm-hmm. in a cage match, which blew my mind when I was watching that. So You're welcome. There you go. There you go. <laughs> making, making things happen. Uh, check out IndieWrestling.us. We got a lot of stuff going on there. All of our Indie Mayhem shows are there. Uh, Trey Garo, Breaking Trey Fabe, that we gave a shout out earlier, does contribute some um, previews and some articles uh, on there as well. And uh, <laughs> again, what? Trey, her debut match was at Hooven Ground. <laughs> This he's is not true. wrong he's not wrong he's not wrong i got the t-shirt <laughs> to prove it um coming soon to indie wrestling.us the katie arquette collection there you go yes uh, we should do like year one packages or something for for iwc alumni but uh <laughs> finger on the pulse sword finger on the pulse thanks alex um but no go check it out uh of course international, international wrestling cartel the recent stomp out cancer which you were also featured on mm-hmm. against honey badger yes and somebody else is very exciting in the area um and uh and of course the renegade wrestling alliance and a lot of other guys including premier championship wrestling with it who just who did their few months ago their big walter weight wrestling i pay-per-view is now available indie wrestling.us sign up for the newsletter so you get updates on sales and new releases and as well as the latest coming from the wrestling main show just right there at the top of the page indie wrestling.us all right so from that hold on i had some notes here all right <laughs> i had okay i we i had to share this i've had this thought in my head for a while um guys i gotta unfollow lana on instagram <laughs> why do you follow why? her on instagram yeah oh, okay Lord. so you know what i'm talking about right so, so like, it, it, it's it's Lana in a bathing suit most of the time. And? and, and what, what is the and problem with the that? The head is, I feel like I'm cheating on my wife when I see Lana's Instagram, okay? Like, I, That's I, I, okay. It, it's a horrible it's okay. feeling. It's okay. You're allowed to double tap it, and then, you know, you're fine. You're allowed, <laughs> you're allowed to double I'm tap it. I'm allowed to it. what? You are allowed to double tap it. Oh, you mean my phone? You'll oh, be yeah. fine. Sorg. Sorg, here's, here's, here's the workaround. Come on. Right you can double click the mouse and move on. Got it. Exactly. It'll be fine. <laughs> Sorg, here is your workaround. <laughs> you and Missy look at Lana's Instagram together. Aw, see, it's not cheating. You can, can both see- double tap and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, an easier way to do this, I, I'm just- Missy. Hey, no, 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 Missy. Guys, guys, when I hear double tap, I think of Zombieland. Yes! yes! That's where I'm going with this. So make him kill her. Make sure you, you hit just her twice. Kill her. Okay. So you don't you cheat, you just good kill cardio. her. We have good cardio. You also need good cardio. <laughs> so next time, because typically it's it's when I like, you know, that little bit you're checking your social media before you go to sleep and I'm laying in bed and I'm going to get, come across this. Instead of feeling awkward, I'm like, hey honey, look. Let's double tap. <laughs> So that's thank you. I mean, I, I, Missy, do you follow Alana? I do not. On Instagram. <laughs> she, she, she is not. I mean, I love. I mean, you know, great. I've said I love it because it's Lana it's it's Instagram, it's Missy. like Make here's oh here better. is me. I am Lana by the pool. Okay, she's not even using her accent. <laughs> I'm by the pool in my bathing suit, and Every- here is Rusev wearing 
reading Harry Potter. I, you know, it's <laughs> it's just like that also, is entertaining. Uh, but that was well, very <laughs> very Italian on that. One. It's Italian? No, no. Yeah, that was yeah, kind that of was, a that was Italian. Italian. <laughs> like, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Hey, yeah. What are you doing? You passed a fazool. Hey, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink my tea now. I don't, so, I don't think she has an accent. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure uh, those pictures are very American. <laughs> it is hilarious that they There's did. There's no translation on the it comments. Is, it either. is great that they did, do live in like one of the most American, down home American cities they in live Nashville. In Nashville, right? Yeah, and are huge Predators fans. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> you know what? This just has not been a good year for Rusev. First, the Preds lose, and now he's getting beat by John Cena, and he's probably not going to be on SummerSlam. Have, did, man, Mike, did you see the end of SmackDown? Well, I did not see a single Instagram, bit of maybe, SmackDown yeah. because I was throwing maybe. toys at people. Oh, we need, to play, we need to play Two Truths and a Live with SmackDown with Mike <laughs> at some point here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a mini game here later in the show for you. Um, that that okay. that round that should, that should be our big question. Is just uh, like the only thing I know of SmackDown is from Bobby randomly exclaiming names on Twitter. Arn Anderson. <laughs> yes, Arn Anderson. Like I know Arn Anderson was on SmackDown. I don't know what he did. I just know he was there. All he was was amazing. Uh, that's all you need to know yes. there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Um, in other news, um, there is yet another Bruno San Martino statue that's cropped up. Have you guys seen this? He's got two statues. He's got, there. Two, he's got at least two statues. This, these are these are the ones we know of. Um, yeah, so. This is the one that we <laughs> just gonna on, find a random getting... one somewhere. Oh look, another statue of Bruno San Martino. Like you oh, know, yeah. is that Bruno up there? <laughs> You know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you know, we're looking like at, the, the looking dinosaurs at, around town. You just find like. Different cultural specific Bruno. You know, if there was a campaign in Pittsburgh where they do like the dinosaurs and it's just like Bruno San Martino, but dressed Hines. like a ketchup bottle. Yeah, there's and Heinz Bruno, Bruno San... and there's there's, there's the Pittsburgh Painting Glass. Day, Bruno. Bruno. Pittsburgh Painting Glass, Bruno, you know, uh Three Rivers Bruno, Permanis Bruno, you know. <laughs> all the Brunos. I, I'm, I'm, Slice on Broadway Bruno. <laughs> like there you go. Yeah, you like them all. <laughs> I think I think we can I think we can get this going actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and send it to Paduda. He'll, he'll fast track you it. You know that year when we get WrestleMania at Heinz Field. That's when we got to go. <laughs> get no WrestleMania at Heinz Field. <laughs> get out of here. That's adorable. <laughs> That's a pipe. That's adorable. Oh, man, sword. pie in the sky. Sword. Oh yeah. Stop oh yeah. That. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that place doesn't have a roof. You're playing a deadly game. <laughs> All right. I, I have Come to. Come on. We did New Jersey. New Jersey Sorry. was fucking cold. Sorry. Yeah, but yes. we're not New Jersey. Yes. Are I'm... you looking at Lana pictures? No, I'm, I'm looking at the chat room. Don't and uh... <laughs> Daniel Tiger Bruno, where he's dressed as Daniel Tiger. That's yep. very Pittsburgh. <laughs> That with a sweater. A... Oh, Mr. Rogers Bruno. <laughs> oh, He's my. just up tying his shoe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He's lacing up his, his... his boots. It's yeah. a his Bruno boots. day in the neighborhood. <laughs> a Bruno day in the neighborhood. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Fast track it. Oh, boy. Who do we need to talk to? <laughs> we got we we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Everybody everybody uh tweet at Bill Peduto. <laughs> everybody just I mean I mean <laughs> Bill Bill was Peduto. at the presentation, he's at the KSWA shows, Bayer Peduto is completely into wrestling, I mean, guys. I'm I pretty mean, sure he listens to the show. Call no Tina's, action. Tina's I mean, calling out that there will be we're, another we're like friends. Yes, <laughs> we're we're practically like this, but if this was more like this. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you listening, <laughs> sorry, sorry. those were very if far apart. That's your definition. Maybe you shouldn't double click that now. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, Missy, something's going on in the chat. Tina's calling out that there will be another at uh, Safeco Field here before Pittsburgh. Another Bruno statue. He's probably right. Actually, Safeco Field's a good place to go. We can probably watch. The weather's probably more predictable there than it is here. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. There will probably be a Bruno statue at Safe Kill Field. I mean, let's be honest. Are we are we even going to get like the hockey game here again? Because we can't even we can't even guarantee it's, it's going to be it's, freezing it's be April in February. Well, yeah. Three it feet of snow. Matter has yeah. to be freezing, sword. What's that? It does not have to be freezing. No. No. 
then we can have WrestleMania here, damn it. We could get a SummerSlam here. We could get a SummerSlam here. We can get SummerSlam here. You, you can't, can't get, get a WrestleMania here. No. No. No, Jeez. you just can't. There's not SummerSlam at Heinz Field. I would love to Summer see a SummerSlam at Heinz Field would be Park. awesome. That would be cool. You do, you're playing up. I mean, how many Pittsburgh people do you have on the roster right now between Kurt and Graves and everybody else? And you, you throw in Bruno. You, you dig up Dominic, Dominic DiNucci. Not that he's dead. I'm just saying you, like, get <laughs> you fight him yeah. down. I mean, yeah. wow. so, I, mean, I, mean, I, just, I mean, I just saw him. Dominic like a, DiNucci is going to bitch slap you, sword. He, he would. And it, I mean, Shane Douglas, he if you wanted can. to. I mean, you could just be, like, it could be no. a Pittsburgh homecoming. Dang. I mean... Shane hey. Douglas will go nowhere near that place. Virgil. <laughs> Virgil. Virgil's will, outside already. I mean, Virgil's already there. I mean, that's pretty much it's already there. guaranteed. Guaranteed. He was outside of Raw. It's, so. a, it's a shame that PNC Park isn't bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Because the skyline would just. So Virgil was only PNC outside Park of Raw because he was trying to scalp tickets to get in. <laughs> Technically, I think he was there as part of the Justin LaBar party. But I can't confirm that because he could very well have not been. A part of that, <laughs> so eh, it could go either way. Let's just say Virgil was there because he's Virgil. I mean, what? And move on. It just oh, it changed. It just oh. looked like Mad Mike was on the screen, just looking at something very distant. Like, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> The way the screen froze in the studio for a second, you just looked like you were just there's something in the distance you just couldn't quite. Make I'm trying out. to look. Like, that's what we're the, doing. <laughs> are you? Are you? Yeah. Is he? Is he giving that those weird faces that that Kurt Angle sword, gives sword, at the end sword, of segments? Sword, yeah. Sword, yeah. Sword. <laughs> yeah. Take What's a picture of that Somebody before it goes away. One. Jeez. Wow, um, that is that is really good. That's hey, you know what? More Mad Mike is more Mad Mike. <laughs> yep. Got yep. it. I'm not going to say whether it's good or bad. It's just definitely more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Well, on that. You brought up a good indeed. point about that. What's that? About Kurt Angle looking awkwardly oh, off good. camera. Oh, good. I'm glad you're not bringing up oh, something about that. And, 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 like, <laughs> and like he's he's looking up at something when, when first of all, the guy was eye level to him when, he, when they were talking. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's looking up into the corner like there's some sort of gigantic spider in the corner where he's trying to be fascinated by it, and it's just there it, it's like so when they film these like you know you kind of have to settle into a pose or a look or something so they have extra room to cut right and it's like they're they're playing a practical joke on kurt that they just leave it I, go <laughs> i i think they've well riz it's, it's like when i it's like when you used to be on midweek war and you used to cut me off before I would finish saying war. That's now become a gimmick. Mm-hmm. And then we fixed yes. it with a new production cycle. So, exactly. <laughs> Stop it, Sork. It's I'm a sorry. gimmick. I'm sorry. I improved things and <laughs> I couldn't, I can't, I can't make it shitty again. I mean, <laughs> I Sork, Sork, it was, it was meant to be like an ellipsis to the end of the podcast. Like, what word is he going to say? Is it war? Is it something else that says what? <laughs> is it Benoit but backwards? Oh. No, it's never Benoit but backwards. <laughs> That's how people get in trouble. That? Oh, okay. But well, at least at least have him look at the phone. Or look at no, because other then he can't even look at his phone right either. We can't so. have him look at the phone <laughs> because then everyone's going to assume he has another illegitimate child, <laughs> which is Hornswoggle. But like, th- just going like this and exactly. staring. Alex Cars, you're exactly right. I could have been saying the midweek warthog. <laughs> yes. Very well could have been. That one. <laughs> Sorg, you wanted to do something? I think I want to go through an ad. Uh, so <laughs> Sorg, wanna... you know what goes great with warthogs? Sorg. Slice on Broadway. Slice on Broadway. <laughs> supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting <laughs> with the perfect pepperoni pizza for nigh on three years, I think, at this point. Uh, right up the street here in Beachview. If you're in the area, hey, uh, Trey had his uh, 
his uh, going away last slice here in the neighborhood is one of his stops on his going away tour. He had a lot of stops on his going away tour. Like I like he I think he had more stops on his going away tour than Terry Funk did on any of his retirements combined. But anyways, other than that, the uh, slice on Broadway was a really important stop on that that tour, and uh, and uh, they've been supporting us for a good bit, feeding our uh, our guests in here on Tuesday nights here and on the Awesome Cast. Uh, support them here in Beachview, Main Street, and Carnegie, PA, Mike. Uh, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, which I understand is now on Postmates, maybe? Uh, so you guys can get it throughout it the is. city. Even you know, broader, like our friends in Bellevue it, said that they were getting it. You can Riz? get it on Uber Eats. It's one is of, it on Uber Eats? Like, if, you're in, if you're in Pittsburgh, yes. it's one of the, if you're going down to the Pirate game, no matter who you cheer for, it's one of the best deals you can have. There you go. There you go. I believe it's twenty one ninety nine for a large pizza and two cokes. That that's good. that's a steal. That's good ballpark prizes. And unlimited that's a fun. steal. And unlimited fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do you know what you you know you can buy at Yankee Stadium for twenty one dollars? One beer. A cup of ice. <laughs> that's, it. <laughs> that's it. A cup of ice. A cup of ice, and you know what? I'm gonna say. Not even all the way full. Yeah. Oh, not man. a souvenir cup, just a regular like no, like not a souvenir cup. cup. And you're not no, even like, in the like, stadium. You know, uh, mall rats like Brody was walking around with that one cup of soda, that size of cup, but uh, half filled with ice, mm-hmm. and not even the good ice. Cubed. Not even the good ice. Yeah, there's good ice. Gi- giant, giant cubed, <laughs> <laughs> giant yeah. cubed ice. Right. Uh-huh. Brandon, yeah. Brandon, shouting out that they need Uber planes because a lot of our listeners <laughs> are not in the local area. That's right. Well, they, we were talking about that drone technology. On, I just uh, think that Slice on Broadway needs the franchise. Yeah. In well, fact, <laughs> they're, they doing good, get, they're, they're doing a good job they, here. They can get the franchise to franchise. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Sorry, we're laughing at still. Did, did it and apparently, it looked, apparently, it's still on, on, on Kitty with her finger on her nose. I had an itch and it stuck right there. It, is that just you saying you didn't want a franchise slice on Broadway? Like, not it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, not it. Okay. <laughs> slice on Broadway.com. Support the show. Tell them the mayhem sent you, or Sorgatron, as some people apparently have been doing it when they go in there. Kick the door, hand. No, 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 Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Mumbai cats are on the move. Mumbai cats are loose. And that there, that there is the theme of uh, this part of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. For reasons you will discover very shortly, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Mad Mike up at Poughkeepsie, New York. The Riz up on the other side of Pittsburgh. And, of course, Hi. Chad the Shad and pro wrestler Kitty Arquette joining us here on the show for... <laughs> <laughs> One of the more interesting episodes in a while. You're um, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we have a big question, and Mad Mike brings us this big question. We should have with somebody. Somebody text Dutters and, and get an answer to this question too. Oh, Dutters will love this question. All right. So, um, as you all know, we are on the internet, and the internet loves cats. And today is International Cat Day. So, what I want from everyone is your favorite cat. Themed wrestlers, right? <laughs> fucking meow. <laughs> Damn it! I did it! Damn I, did it. I, did it. I did, it. did it! All right. Does anybody else have it. one, or or should we no, just? Do you want me to go, do you want me to go hey, first? Man, Mike, man, Mike, man, Mike, man, Mike. Yeah, yeah. That was perfect. It was. Perfect. Um, but but I would like to go first. Okay. Ernest the Cat Miller. Moving on. Yes. Yes. Oh, Miller. <laughs> Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Better former than WCW Disco commissioner exactly wow. better to answer than Disco Inferno and and uh, and Alex Wright put together yes Ooh. easily stiff competition alright um, Sorg do you want me to go or do you get I have no one? problem with you going sir alright my favorite cat themed wrestler right now is Prince Puma oh, of course. oh yeah Ooh. yeah Prince Puma baby 
Ah, oh, Lucha so Underground's own Prince Puma. <laughs> See, it doesn't all have to say cat. There are lots of different kinds of cats. Types of cats. Types of cats. I'm trying to find the name of mine. I, I have it pictured in my hand. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, Chad, do you have one? <laughs> or is it the one you were talking about? No. Chad is trying to think of a version of Edge that has I, been a I'm cat. trying to stop <laughs> thinking of parody cat wrestlers. Where Heartbreak Kitty. Like the fabulous, the fabulous Meowla. Oh, and Heartbreak my Kitty. Gosh. And the wild man Mark Marrow. <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> I just assumed he's cat like. <laughs> he's wild. Okay. Oh. It was it was the attitude, huh? I, I, I can't he's think also of any bad bad man. I can't think of any. Uh, uh, the road dog? Have... No, no he's he not one yet. No. He's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but dogs don't like cats. No. I mean so, all right. I, I the cat. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> the cat. There you go. Yeah. An actual rest that uh, former women's champion. There you go. Just kitty. You know, kitty. for what that was worth back then. Former <laughs> former Jerry Lawler lover. Oh. Uh, also I, for I, what that was worth back then. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go I, I have an honorable mention one if you don't have this one, Mad Mike, but I'm gonna say the uh, favorite one that hasn't been taken yet uh is the most recent Tiger Mask. Um yeah. Uh, because I, I watched the New Japan where they did the Tiger Mask versus Evil Tiger Mask that, based on the anime that's apparently happening. Uh, so, uh, and, and I believe that Tiger Mask was, or maybe one of them was um, ACH. And I think the other was Kota Ibushi. Right, right. So, so my answer is my answer is Kota Ibushi in the long run. <laughs> So. <laughs> Kata Ibushi. I got it, Sork. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Kata Ibushi. So, <laughs> counts, and I'm really looking for an English dub of that anime so I can watch it. Some of it's on, like, New Japan World, so, but not, I don't know, it might be subtitled, I don't know. I like so. that one. Duke Davis, Keith, Bearcat, Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that one. There that you was go. fun. There you Thank go. you. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> Sorry, there there was messages for the gold, and I got thrown off for a minute. Um, I think do, do you have any? Well, you had the cat, I guess, right? Yeah, the cat. All right, Mad <laughs> Mike. Cat. What are your on? Wait, do we have any from the chat room? Oh, yeah, we got oh, yeah, a lot we did. from the cat room. A lot from the cat room. The cat room. The cat room. <laughs> What's up from the cat room? <laughs> uh, Producer Missy, do you have a favorite cat themed wrestler? And don't say your cat at home <laughs> with the dog. I was going to say Elias Samson. My cat's name is Samson. Does that work? Oh. <laughs> yes. So it works. Pretty, it's that, allowed. Is that, yes. where the, is that where the last <laughs> name is? Because I said so. <laughs> Tina has yeah. one. Wildcat Chris Harris. Yeah, and also Tiger Ali Singh. Aww. Yeah, there you go. He's the, uh, the, big, the big cat Ernie you know? Lad. The big cat Ernie Lad. She, she was busy Hall in favorite. the cat room. Oh, she was busy in the cat room that, that, we, that we were talking about that already. Yeah, Sorry. no, it's yeah. okay. Sorry. <laughs> that one was mine. Duke helped me out with that. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there... ba- Battle Cat was a jobber in the 90s. Oh, yeah. The, the Mumbai Battle Cats, cat. as I mentioned in our, in our intro, the Mumbai can, Cats. Can we uh, shout out to Teddy Hart and his cat? Yeah. To who? Mr. Money. <laughs> Mr. Money. I mean, we, we probably pounds. could. I will say Natalia is basically part cat. Yes. Okay. I yes. almost said Natalia. I almost just straight said Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that would count. Um, but you have Tigress, mm-hmm. uh, Leia Meow. Of course. A lot of WCW gimmicks. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's another one. The Nightmare. Damn it. And I just lost it. He's very cat. I can't think of it now. Who? There's the another night one man. I have in my head. The Nightman? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he's very cat like. <laughs> oh, there was another one. There was a TNA one. I can't think oh, wait, of it. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. El Pantora, Pantera. El Pantera, yeah. For uh, Brandon. Uh, I saw someone in the chat said Ernie Big Cat Lad. Yeah. Yeah, that counts too. That was, mm-hmm. that was a real good yeah. one. Yeah. Mm. Just Nat- I, I can't give credit. It, it was off the screen before just, I could see just, who. Just Natalia's cat. Oh, um, 
uh, Lindsay Dorado, Kitty Cat Man. That's the first one I thought you were going to say. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I told you my answer may surprise you. Because every time he gets excited, no matter what else happened on 205 Live, we get to the, the midweek war, and he's like, Kitty Cat Man was on. I'm like, Lindsay Dorado? So. <laughs> I'm sorry. When you have a mask that adorable, you're going to be called Kitty Cat Man. Jeez. That's just how that works. Uh, uh, we were uh, uh, from the chat room from Billy. Uh, we are going to rename our guest Kitty Arquette. Oh gosh, <laughs> Kitty Arquette. I like so, it. That's okay. <laughs> that could be. Hey, if you ever if you ever get booked in Chikara, that could be a nice alternative Ew. for you. So uh, not that's wrong. True. Space cat Sammy Callahan. Yeah, Sammy Callahan that's with that true. creepy Callahan. space cat <laughs> gimmick he's been doing lately. <laughs> um. Uh, Thank you. So I, look for some cats I was looking here. for names on Google. <laughs> yes. And I'm already in a uh, uh, a little bit of a a, a wormhole here. A wormhole. Because hole? there are uh, WWE cat videos where they just put cats in the ring and have them fight. What? <laughs> and WWE cat fights? Did that, amazing. that sounds amazing. Wow. There's 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 a choke slam with a WWE commentary on it. Wow. Uh, oh, you're, yeah. in, you're in too deep now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be watching these tonight. Please put these in the uh, group later. <laughs> I will, sir. Oh, oh, I found them. I Alex, found them. sorry about that. They're coming through really super fast. Uh, he's giving a shout saw... out to Pizza Cat from AWS. Mm. Yes. Also, former Raw guest host, Grumpy Cat. Oh. Grumpy Cat. <laughs> the famous cat. Yes. Forgot he hosted Raw. He's yes. so over. <laughs> Keyboard cat. <laughs> Keyboard, what? <laughs> just talking about famous cats now. Oh, okay. We just went in our direction. All right. Uh, so, so I, I want to introduce. There's a game that we've been playing on. Uh, typically, our Impact Wrestling review show that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and whenever um, one of us misses Monday Night Raw for the Raw wrap up, called Two Truths and a, and a Lie. Now, somebody didn't watch SmackDown tonight, so... It, In my I, defense, that was working. Okay, okay. Um, I was working. So, and I think, who, who watched the entirety of Raw? I think me, or I'm sorry, SmackDown tonight. It was myself, and it was Riz, correct? Correct. Riz, okay. Uh, uh, Riz, uh, you wanna, do you want to tag team this a little bit? Like, sure. Uh, like, because we're going to know which one's a lie and everything. So so why don't, like, uh, I'll give one, you give one, and I'll give the last one. Sure, sure. All right. So uh, Mike is going to be our, our, our guinea pig tonight since he, he's missed this SmackDown. Of course, you're going to watch it later and probably live tweet well, really well, late. Sorry, right? Why can't we all guess? I, I, I also did not watch. watch. Oh, oh, Chad also did I not watch. I came in for that last yeah. match. That was it. Okay, we'll do we'll do two rounds then. Sorry, this okay. is gonna be fun. This is okay. gonna be good. We'll do two rounds. So, and again, I know a lot of you guys just watch uh, the Wrestling Mayhem <coughs> show, and and uh, you know this is something that we do other places, and and you know just want to kind of you know uh, uh, show you guys what we've been doing, and and hopefully it turns out as well as it did last night. <laughs> So we didn't do, although we took a lot of pre-notes last night, myself and Matt Carlin's for it. So this is going to be a little more off the cuff. So uh, we'll start with Mike because Mike knows how the game is played. I'll tell you what, Riz, mm. Riz, do you want to come up with something for Chad? Mm, sure. All right. We'll give you a little bit of time there. Now, off the top of my head here, for Mad Mike, for SmackDown tonight, um, yes. Mad Mike. Yes. Lana. Wanted to have a match <laughs> with Charlotte. Uh -huh. okay. 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 That's number one. Right. I said these probably aren't going to be as good as last night, but um, truth number two. Truth number two. Randy Orton beat the WWE champion, Jinder oh, Mahal. That, oh, that sounds likely. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gender losing a match that sounds really mm, okay all right and truth number three the fashion police did a firefly version oh uh, yeah 
I want that one to be true so much that I know it's probably not. <laughs> Although Fashion Fly is it's right there. It is right there. It you is. can have Fandango, be Mal, you can have uh you can have Breeze say shiny and do stuff with an umbrella. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still gonna say that one's false i'm still gonna say that one's false are you sure is that your final answer as much as see the thing is wwe generally doesn't give me things that i would absolutely love like that so i have to say it's false i i, I and, and i agree because because the twin peaks thing is reaching for me i don't remember enough of twin peaks to get half the jokes going on right now um but still i love it uh you are correct that is false Woo-hoo! The, uh, I won. randy orton <laughs> did have a match and won against jinder mahal a non-title of course, match Ra- randy got randy got randy sorg yeah he randy, gotta get that win uh, back <laughs> <laughs> he did he lose. To get that win back he did lose three months in a row so that that, that makes everything build, these bullshit matches we can't build a solid <laughs> champion off effective wins no he has to eventually lose we exactly. can only do that on nxt and what was my other truth that I said? <laughs> Lana. Lana challenged uh, Charlotte. Lana, 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 Lana challenged Charlotte. Lana challenged Charlotte because something about how she's a prettier, more capable version of Tamina and wanted to prove it. <laughs> that, wait, that was, that wait, was, what? That was, that was an okay, interesting say, promo. If you went with that, I, I should have went that with that. I should I should have went with that one. <laughs> that yeah, was, yeah. So... Yeah, you oh, I, I, that would be like, well, that's just horseshit. I couldn't remember the exact wording, <laughs> so I didn't want to uh, skew it and have an accidental false. So, uh, Riz, do okay. you do you have three truths for Chad the Chad? And remember, he did watch I, like the last like what twenty minutes. I, so. I saw the okay. the Orton match. You just saw the Orton match, like halfway through to the end, and that's okay. That's all it. right, and I won't mention anything there. I don't think Riz, right. Riz has never played this game before, has he? I have not, so this is going to be interesting. Okay. This is, a, uh, this is a whole truth on Truth number one. Hmm. Truth number one. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Trying to think Let him think. Let him think. It's his first all right, all right, time. It's all right. Okay. Truth number one. <laughs> we'll, we'll watch some more cat videos Shane until Mc- he's ready. All right. Shane McMahon got what? by 1998 SummerSlam video. Got what? <laughs> What? <laughs> he got what? There is a can, break. can you restate that? Yeah, there was a glitch. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Shane McMahon got called out by a 1998 SummerSlam video. <laughs> God, I hope that's true. Truth <laughs> number two. <clears throat> Man. This is so hard. It, it's hard to think of off it's the fly. Hard to think, like, yeah. On the fly, I'm like, I'm like, okay, all right, all right. Truth number two: the killer of Tully Blanchard of, of Tully the horse was a member of the NWO. Ooh. Okay. 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 And number three. Oh damn! This is. Uh, it's really tough. Number three. Because mm, I know you guys already know that's not right. So let's see here. Da, 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 da. Right, number three. Man, this is really tough. <laughs> um, and number three. I love your, this, is, this is part of the game too. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is like it's I'm, all about I'm the trying to process. think of the, the oh and number three okay oh yeah yeah number three uh, also with the fashion police uh, Fandango was abducted by aliens and anal probed <laughs> with wardrobes. Oh, God, I love that one of the two of these are true. <laughs> <laughs> I love that two of these are real things that happened. Yeah, that's a little tough. <laughs> so, no offense, Riz is better than this than oh. coming off the fly than you are. I think he is. He so, is. <laughs> I love how he just like tweaked the same segment into two things. Actually, I'm going to look this up because I'm not sure. he. I could be wrong about something. 
Um, Riz, I, I, I no. know who you're talking about. I think you're okay. Yeah, I think I think you're clean on a couple of them. So okay, we got right. SummerSlam video, and the Bo Killer, <laughs> and Alien Probing. Alien Probing. <laughs> alien probing. <laughs> Which of these God. did not happen? Two of on... these are true. God, I love that two of these are real. One is false. Correct. Which one is which? Oh, boy. <laughs> Let... I, I want to say the end of Bio Killer. Is, is false? False. false. Mm. You would be correct. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, right. I can't so, I can't wait to watch Fashion Peak. The two most so, ridiculous ones are true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, right. How did I miss on SmackDown? And, <laughs> and Kevin Owens uh came out and um tried to get Shane McMahon off of the referee uh the uh, special guest referee thing. And he tried to prove it by showing him video by showing AJ Styles video of things that can happen when Randy, when, when uh, Shane McMahon gets involved in uh, referee stuff. And <laughs> he just showed a, the random, uh, well, not, I guess not random, the Stone Cold vs. Mankind match from <laughs> SummerSlam 1998. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That's, that's this is This is um, when we were having problems with our feed here in the studio. Yes. Uh, so, and the Fashion Peaks episode, uh, of course, uh, it was weird because Fandango just appeared, uh, and he just started going, he was, he, he said anal probe, which was weird. <laughs> that happened on TV. And then he, he, he then suddenly changed to, no, it's wardrobe. Because he was wearing this giant shirt, like a blue shirt, and that was it. Like there, there was barely any mention of anything else. And uh, the the killer of Tully, the horse, was Double uh, A Arn Anderson. Ah, wow, wow, Arn Anderson. Just because he was the workhorse of the four horsemen. Oh God! Oh, I, love it. I love it. I love it. Spoiler alert! By the way, horse. spoiler alert. Oh man! That Clever. Just Clever. My it, did. it did. See, I'm really good. I'm really good at coming up with stories, aren't I? Riz, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty well good, Riz. Oh, uh, uh, Dave, Dave out there uh, says, and a necktie around his head. He came back with a necktie around oh, his head. Yes. So. Yeah, that was weird, but I don't care because it was fashion. It was fashion files. That's right. Um, we fashion have geeks, one. Man. Brandon submitted one in the chat. Oh, jeez. This is going to be okay. our first chat room submitted one. Why not? We're a late show. Um, so real quick. Truth one, we almost had a dumpster match. Truth two, and this is this is for Mike. Carmella cashed in and won against Naomi. Uh huh. True three, Shane McMahon got kicked in the mouth by Styles. Oh, man. I want all of those to be true. Uh, I'll say Carmella cashing in is probably false. I'll say I'll say that one's false. You are correct. Yes. Good at this game. Awesome. It would, it would awesome. be a big uproar if that happened. So, yeah, I was going to say, it, there'd be a big to-do. So 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 that's that's what happens every once in a while because you know sometimes some of us have to work and miss a show that we are supposed to be recapping. Um, so let us know what you think of that uh, concept on the uh, twitters or on the comments. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll I don't know if we'll do it on this show, but someone, maybe we'll do it somewhere else. Someone should do a, a James Ellsworth one. Just well, sorry, you and I were talking James Ellsworth. Three James Ellsworth truths and a lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's good. He's good. He's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two lies and a oh, truth. Oh, wait, crap. He's bad. He's bad. He flipped He's it. Like... Now, 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 sometimes Mike messes with me and says all lies are all truths. <laughs> And oh, so it's so much fun to say all truths on Impact <laughs> yeah. because that yeah. show yeah. got <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So, mm, all right, guys, it's time to find out what you learned from wrestling this week. Riz? I learned, and this is going to be a hot take, 
I learned uh, that the fashion files are better than Final Deletion. Mm. Hot takes. Wow. I'm, I'm just saying. Wow. Take oh, it, man. Shots fired. Take it deep. Well, they've had... They've, it's, it's true. They've had a longer... <laughs> damn true. They've had a longer <laughs> shelf life, I guess. So It's true, sort of. Okay. All right. Mad That's Mike. what I learned. Mad Mike, what'd you learn? Oh, man. Uh, I learned that to to um, negate Bray Wyatt's teleporting powers, all you really have to do is just walk out of the way. That's it. Big, scary demon. Just walk. Bobby of J- Bobby of J-Town <laughs> learned that office chairs are awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. We didn't talk about Strowman firing a chair. So yeah, no yeah. no they're like oh like shotgunning God. a chair at uh shotgunning a chair at uh, at a Roman I'm sorry somebody was that just should at- have legitimately been the, been the finish of that match sorry somebody was was at the window making call me signs or something uh so it, it, I, I learned that sword gets what? Offers during is that what just happened yeah she was looking at me and then she looked at you and then she looked at you and was just like <laughs> What? Oh, there we go. There's our first. There's our first one of those. Sorg, Sorg. Hmm. is that one of the Beachview prostitutes? Emma is very well. There, there was her, oh, her hands there broken, go. so she double tapped <laughs> real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Someone heard about the double clicking. She did. That's, that's what this, was. Is what yeah. this is what happens when we do oh. this in public. And it um, comes back to the double clicking. Oh boy, we're, we're, double we're, tap, guys. Double, double tap. tap. Well, Mad Mike just said double clicks. So. It's wrong. Yes. She clicked and tapped. <laughs> she clicked and tapped. And then tapped again. <laughs> no, because now, now, now I can't get the, the um, zombie land stuff out of my head when you say double tap. And I'm like, that's not what you want to do there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Fair enough. Not fair enough. All. Then it's interchangeable. You can say double tap or double click. But everyone yeah. who missed it, we were talking about Instagram. Get get your minds out of the gutter, right, people. Right. What That's is wrong right. with you? First half of the show, <laughs> coming back around. Uh, from the, also from the chat. <laughs> Tina says she learned that shoulder injuries injuries come full circle SummerSlam season. Yeah, that's the second year in a row where we have a couple of them, I think, going into this. Um, Dan says uh, gender-ended racism. Um, <laughs> it's been going around. It's gonna be- God, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, uh, Alex says, God. I learned that it's okay to double tap. You right. Boom. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Jeez. Um, do, 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 Aww, did you get, Aaron. Did you get Duke Davis's comment? Um, Duke, Duke, I saw something about Carmella's, uh, pants, Carmella's are pants are amazing. <laughs> From Duke Davis, of, of all people. So awesome. Um, Brandon uh, says uh, he also learned that uh, Ellsworth is making uh, bank from WWE. He paid a $10,000 fine in 30 days. He's doing well. He's doing there we well. Go. There you go. Uh, we also learned that Kitty Arquette is the only Arquette I love. I love you uh, too, Aaron. There you go. <laughs> uh, um, who, who did uh, Chad? Did you go? No. Go ahead. No. Uh, one short thing, real quick. Braun Strowman threw an office chair like it was nothing. Mm-hmm. Straight, true. Over. It was a long shot away, and it was over. Straight and true. Heads. It didn't yeah, move. It, was... it didn't rotate. It didn't. It was like a javelin. And it was amazing. It's like if the tire was big enough, it's like throwing a football spiral straight oh, through the tire, right? Touchdown. Except the tire was Roman's face. Oh, perfect. That that was great. Um, what I learned, though, because I was with some wrestling fans on vacation this weekend, and we were discussing various topics and various things, but I, I learned, which I I'm which picturing. I have to double check, but I think it is true that uh, Jerry Lawler never held any titles in the WWE. That's true. It's true. I did not know that. It's yeah. true. It's damn true. I did not know that. Yeah, had, and it he, was the it was only a discussion. WrestleMania match he's had is that one with Michael Cole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a discussion we wow. had with who who had had the most shots at a championship and had never won. And we were thinking it was probably Jerry Lawler because he's never had any championships in the WWE. In WWE, but yeah, just in WWE. But he's but he's had plenty elsewhere. Um, yeah. But I, I did not know he had not a single championship, even tag. Nothing. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if he had any. Like, I can't remember a 
title match with him in it. Um, he wrestled I could have swore he had a title, title match did he against. Not? I could have swore he had a title match against Bret Hart. Yeah, yeah, he had. He had the, yeah, that, that would he make had sense. A title match against the Miz. Duke Davis says Jerry know. the King Lawler like, doesn't need no stinking belt. Even even <laughs> in the even in the era of hardcore twenty four seven, he never got it, <laughs> and like yeah, almost I, everybody. Had I, think, it. I think he was very one of, not one of the that. Godfather's hoes was a hardcore champion. Jerry Isn't Briscoe Jim and Pat Ross Patterson, I think, had the hardcore. That was amazing. Uh, he pinned them while they were sleeping. Patterson and Briscoe had an evening gown hardcore title match on pay per view. They did. The best is by when, the way, if we're bringing back Watch Party, that's one we're watching. The best was when Briscoe p- pinned Patterson in his sleep, yeah, and then celebrated quietly and hit a chair <laughs> and woke him up. That was the best. <laughs> Katie Arcade, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Well, <laughs> let me think. Um, I don't know. What I learned in wrestling school is <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> um, James Ellsworth is still very bad. <laughs> that doesn't change anything. You, you were moaning at something he did in the ring tonight, weren't you? He kept pointing at Carmella trying to be cool and gangster, and it was not working for him at all. <laughs> He bothers me. That's it. <laughs> Producer Missy, do you have anything you've learned? Well, I learned that gender apparently ended racism. Oof. Just a little bit. Just a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, two for gender. There you go. There you go. Um, I, I learned, kind of along those lines, I learned that I look at uh, what James Ellsworth wears and I feel okay about my wardrobe choices. I'll just double tap. Just, good Just double over. tap. Uh, <laughs> uh, on that note, <laughs> some great comments in there about Jerry Lawler, the king. He's the king, the original king of the ring from the guys. Ch- Natty, what's that? Natty taught me. Uh, Natty taught Duke Davis that James Ellsworth doesn't have a chin. Okay. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for joining us. Live chat room, everybody here. This uh, uh, mayhem here on Tuesday nights at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, the Facebook Live. Thank you, Katie Arquette, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, stick around if you're on the live stream. We're going to have a conversation with her for Indie Mayhem Show, and I'll be on the feed here in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, and also, Chad the Shad. Hello. Doing Chad the Shad things. Yep. Talking about wrestling around a campfire. It was in inside, but yeah. <laughs> in my mind, I just you it know, was. We did have a campfire outside. You so. know, I just you know wrestling talk around a campfire. It just mm-hmm. let mm-hmm. me have my my vision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we were playing a game called Five Things, where you give a topic and you name five things you can think of regarding that topic. Hmm. So one of them was like, uh, one that everybody can think of is uh, name five. Tag team partners Chris Jericho has won championships or has won a tag team championship with. Jeez, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good. That's a good one. Yeah, that's right? a good one. And then you rack your brain like, fuck. Oh, let me think. <laughs> and meanwhile, you're in the middle of nowhere and you have no. Google. We didn't have internet. No, yeah. that's that's the, the like the bad part. We we're just sitting there like, ah, uh, if only we Why? could check this stuff. <laughs> but amazing, uh, it's fun. One. Riz, Riz plays games on the Twitch. I just, yeah. I just friended you on Twitch since I'm on there. I'm sort of gaming on the Twitch, by the way. If you want to follow me oh. back, oh. no, it's not terribly exciting. I'm, I'm just no, sucking at Killer Instinct so far. But you should follow me, yes, because my goal is to get uh, affiliated with Twitch. There you go, Mad Mike. He also is a part of the Midweek War and the Raw Wrap Up shows. And he does a lot of live tweeting. By the way, I did buy Boone the Bounty Hunter on iTunes last night. So guess what we're talking about on Lucha Underground? I just Yay, need I'm excited, Sorg. I just, Sorg, I, I think... I just need 93 minutes to watch it. You know what? That's, Sorg, I think you should all stay there tonight and watch it. That's the other thing that I <laughs> everyone, learned. Everyone should have a slumber party and watch Boone the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Don't tempt me. That's, that's the is, other thing that I learned, is, Sorg. It's everything it that you is. learned? No, that's the other thing that I learned. What, that Walmart lies about their stock? No, that apparently <laughs> when I tell you that I will take care of it, 
Yes. You go and you purchase it digitally, and then I still go and like get the DVD for hey, you. Hey, you know what? That man put his house on the line for this movie. I'm okay with buying two copies. Did you just double purchase this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, did. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.